pounds or dying because you're not taking the medication that's going to help you, which would you choose? Well, I would choose uh, the medication, obviously. But, you know, when he was eating two pizzas at a time, I'm sure it wasn't chemo that was make, causing him to eat, it, to eat those two pizzas at a time. What are you talking about? Talking about uh, the blimp. The governor of New Jersey. Oh. Well, he, look. He was, a, he was a big eater. Everybody at, knew that. At least, he was a eater. at least he doesn't eat pizza the way the mayor of New York does with a fork and a knife. Kidding me? Christy doesn't know what those are. They're, they're too slow, those instruments. Even though I must say he's looking better, he lost some weight. Well, don't forget he had the lap band surgery. Mm -hmm. So it's a very slow process, but mm -hmm. I know people that have had the surgery, and uh, if you follow the guidelines, and the guidelines are very strict and stringent at first, you know, you're uh, at the beginning, you're on a very strict diet, and when you start eating solid food again, it's only the equivalent of like a little cup of, of solid food. And you're not supposed to drink and eat at the same time. If you want to have a cup of coffee, you have it before you eat, or you can have it after you eat. But you cannot eat both together. And, uh, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. If you, if you want it to work, you have to follow the directions. I have you know, a so friend of mine who had the operation recently, and he has no restrictions. The only restrictions he has is he can't he close drink. his mouth. Huh? Close his mouth. <laughs> no, he can't uh, have uh, soda or beer. Well, and I, I, I'm sure that things have changed since, you know, the yeah. beginning when they started yeah. with the lap band surgery. But yeah. still, you know, if the doctor tells you, if you're going to go through this and pay the money that you're going to pay, you know, you want to see some results, you follow directions. Yeah. Well, I'm saying the directions are, there are none, is what I'm telling you. He's been doing this now for six, seven months. He lost, I think, 50 pounds or something. Lost a lot of weight. And he said, your body is the thing that restricts you, not the doctor. He well, can't eat more than a certain amount. That's it. Because There's nothing to do with the doctor. The doc band, they put this band around your stomach, and you can only eat so much before you get full. Yeah, and what he says is uh, you have to chew, chew your food very well. Otherwise, it doesn't make it through the band, and you wind up throwing up. Well, you know, the funny thing is that even before they had surgeries like this lap band surgery, uh, any, anybody who wrote... Uh, a diet book would tell you you're always supposed to chew your food well, okay? Uh, many times people will take a bite out of their food and they'll chew four or five times and then they'll swallow while the food is basically still whole. Uh, the whole process of chewing and digesting fills you up also. So that's another reason why they tell you you know, chew your food. They, yeah. man, sometimes they tell you, chew your food at least 20 times. Well, they, didn't, they just told us that if he doesn't chew his food, the pieces are too big going down, they're not going to go down, and he's going to have to throw them up. And, well, he says, went, and he's done it, he's gone to parties, and he says he threw them up, and then he felt fine after two minutes. It wasn't like he was sick or anything. No, 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 you're not sick. It's just a matter of, it's, it's like when a dog eats. A dog will eat anything you put in front of it, but it'll only digest a certain amount. And then when it's full, it throws up the excess that it ate. But we're talking about Halloween. We're talking about trick-or-treating and candy and good stuff. What do you want to talk about throwing up and vomiting? Well, I thought maybe someone would call up if we discuss something else. I don't know. You know, uh, much, you know listen, we've always said that we don't have to, we don't, actually we have been sticking to the topic in the last few years. Well, you know, I, sadly enough, Rev, I think that uh, the two or three loyal listeners that we have are probably our trick-or-treating. I mean, we have a couple of people who call up from Colorado, you know, and they're, an, they're an hour behind us. You know, we had some people going in and out. I didn't even know it. 
I don't think they want to talk about Halloween. We got all sorts of we got all sorts of people logging in. They're just not in the. Uh, Oh, this is, wait a second. They're all, they're not here anymore. Now they're over here in the chat room. Well, but they're commenting about the music, I think. All different things. Great song. Now, they have something from YouTube. Maybe we should play it and comment on it. It won't play here. It won't? No. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, so we see that uh, Megan's still pagan, but... I hate to pronounce that word, but... Uh, What's that? It's S-H-E-I-T. I don't know what that is. Oh, come on. You think it's misspelled? No, I think it's spelled that way for a reason. Guess Especially when they say still in. wool. Guest is logged out. Maggie has logged in. Maggie, hey, guys. You know, I'm a little confused at what's going on. Why is it over here? I don't know. You know. This has been happening a lot, and I never noticed it. I'm looking over here like he used to be. And I've never paid attention to what's on this side. Well, in all honesty, I don't believe that we had any... Uh... We, I've seen, not a lot, but I've seen stuff on this side and never paid attention to it. Oh, okay. Well, for those of you still listening, remember the number is 646... Five nine five three two seven five. I know I have a friend in Baltimore who's a Wicca. She is a, a good witch. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? She's a good witch. By the way, did you know that the word witch is from the Wicca, which means wisdom? Did you know that, Rev? You told me that earlier, so now I know. So now when you call somebody a witch... Yeah, and, and the green skin, that came from the Wizard of Oz. The point, you know, the, uh, there was something in the coloration of the movie, and it made Margaret Hamilton's skin look green, and whenever they picture a witch now, they always have her uh, with green skin and a hooked nose. That's, well, you know, it's a shame. Yeah, you know, because the witches and there's nothing wrong with witches. Witches are, uh, you know, they they just believe in uh, more natural things. You know, this is very strange. Okay. So Maggie still has logged out. I wonder if that's the Maggie we know or it's another Maggie. I don't know of any Maggie. I know one Maggie. Well, whoever was liked our songs, but I still don't understand what's going on here with our web page here can't read these things. Huh. Okay. We've been going on for how many minutes and we haven't played a song? Well, no, we did before some themes from some shows, but we've been on for about 40 minutes. No, but we've been on for at least five minutes without playing a song. But we've been on longer without playing a song. That's because I probably don't have any more. <laughs> Let me see if I have anything. Uh, nah, that's nothing. I think that happened just prior to her tuning us out. You know? Or maybe she saw you rise from your coffin. Maybe. Let's see, what do we have here? I, I thought I thought we had more stuff for Halloween. Come on, folks. Let's get those phones ringing, you know. It's like a telethon. Now, mind you, I am not begging you to call. It's just that if you don't call, 
I have to try to converse with the Rev, and it's very difficult. Absolutely, I'm a pain we're in on, the. Uh, we're on a different plane here. I'm a I'm a real pain in the. As you know what. But uh, if, listen, if we don't do that, I'm going to put something that I like. Uh oh, some uh, little bluegrass. No. Halloween bluegrass. No, no, no. <laughs> little jazz, maybe. No, not even that. Well, I'm lost. Oh no, not the warrior song. No, that's next. No, that should be. Well, this is this is a happy happy day, Halloween. Who wants to think about war? There's a raccoon on the shoulder, ain't going anywhere. There's pots of wear inside the track, it's gonna fill the air. There's pieces of something over here, the rest is over there. And I'm a five blues my lunch. Hey, look out for that deer, I got the road kill blues. I got the road kill blues. When I'm poor, little critters don't stand a chance. songs that we ever played it has a deep meaning to us we don't know what it is but it has a deep meaning okay so this is our Halloween show and the best we can do is uh, with this show is I don't know make a few sounds what else can we do I don't know. I'm going through our... Uh, variety of stuff here that we played. And, you know, I think as far as Halloween stuff, I think I'm running out of Halloween stuff. So that means uh, we get a phone call or 15 minutes we go off the air. Doesn't matter. That's whichever one it is, it's okay. But I'm going to play something. <laughs> <laughs> 